Today's video is about how to stop worrying and how to calm your mind. We get stuck in our mind really for three different reasons. One, because we experience a really intense emotion such as fear or anxiety or guilt and we try to make a plan and predict the future in order to get a specific outcome. On other occasions, we get stuck in our minds because we value our thoughts a lot. We give a lot of importance to them. We think that if we understand the situation right and if we just get all the information and we figure out why something is this way, we can change how we feel and how it is. And sometimes we get stuck in our minds because we are in a deep connection to our past. We get triggered and we can't let go. We haven't learned how to let go. And then we repeat uh, past experiences in our mind and we just can't let it go. In all of these situations, it's just really uncomfortable. We have a lot of tension in our body and we surely don't feel well physically. Sometimes we can't rest, we can't sleep because we are on overdrive and the mind just keeps going and keeps going, but doesn't produce solutions. Because even if we find a mental solution, um, maybe we have a short release or a short ease, and then we return to worrying about a different aspect. So we know that uh, the mind itself can't resolve these situations. So how do we stop worrying? It's actually really simple. We have to think of our thoughts as something that is, let's say, on a higher level. And underneath, there's a whole um, amount of emotions and, uh, let's say, a field of energy. And from this field, the thoughts arise. Let's say there's the energy of fear. So we can sense this fear in our body. We have anxiety or we feel a certain way. We have um, this field of fear and from this all these thoughts come up trying to control the situation trying to predict the outcome what would happen if and this is just one example so what we need to do is we need to focus not on the story and how our mind explains this but on the energy underneath and when we do that uh, the experience can change and shift how do we do it I like to use um, a, a few questions uh, that help me focus my awareness on how I experience right now in my body. So the questions would be something like, how is this right now for me? Or how does it feel in my body? Or how is it that I have this thought? Um, so it's always on shifting the attention from up here, from the thinking, from the story, from why I think it is in a certain way, to how it feels in the body. And that also means that you shift to a different, um, let's say, channel of perception. You go from the auditive, um, the thoughts, the thinking, uh, and, the, and what you hear in your mind, to the kinesthetic, which is what you feel. And... Um, when you do this, um, at first it may, may be difficult and hard to perceive, but there's a whole um, different set of experience you can have. Maybe you experience the rejection that you have. You don't want to feel this emotion and you can only feel the resistance. And then that's great. You just stick with looking at how the resistance is right now in your body. Um, sometimes you will Notice that as soon as you focus on the emotion underneath that thought and on how it feels in your body, maybe you notice how your breathing is or you notice um, that you have tension in a certain place in your body and then you just breathe into that and you stay there with your awareness. And um, many times as you focus on it, the sensation starts easing and disappearing really. And the most curious thing is that when the sensations calm down in your body, uh, that changes the energy field. And because of that, your thoughts change. 
so let's say you have uh, this experience of fear as you explore the fear in your body and you feel how it is uh, you will calm down and you can go through layers of different aspects maybe at first resistance and then even anger about this fear or then uh, like the story the mind will always pull you into the story of why it's really dangerous and what you could do and then you always go back and you look at how is this now how does it feel now because there isn't uh, any real um, any reality to these thoughts in this moment of right now in many cases um, and that brings you out into a different experience because right now what you fear could happen isn't real it's just a thought accompanied by a certain sensation so I would love to know how you explore this if you get a sense of calmness and expansion as you focus on your body it's a process of learning how to do this but really it's very easy we just have to find the right perspective and we have to give ourselves this moment in time where we can stop worrying and start feeling so i would love to know what you think and what you experience with this process let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this video bye for now hi it's me again i just wanted to let you know if you like this video and you like the content you have a lot of options to get in deeper press the subscribe button below if you would like to be informed about the next videos that i upload you can also become a part of my facebook community or you can check out my website there's a blog there are lots of free meditations and resources you can sign up for my newsletter and i will serve you in the best way that i can I would love for you to become a member of the community if this resonates with you.